You can never know. That's the one thing that's very similar to the American system. On an appeal, in a case, you never know how the jury will decide. You still have to abide by what they say. There's a couple of things that are fascinating. First of all, while she was behind bars, she really became totally fluent in Italian. And I think Amanda Knox felt that her life depended on it. Mm. And I'll tell you why. Uh, because of that potential anti-American sentiment. If When she got up there and she begged for her life for 10 long minutes, 10 long minutes speaking fluent Italian, I think it had to impress the jurors. It had to impress everybody in that courtroom. And essentially what she was saying in not so subtle terms is, don't, don't ruin my life because I'm an American. I am embracing your culture. I have learned your language. And do not crucify me, essentially. You know what? It's a good point. Meg Strickler, I want to bring you in for a very quick comment here. That plea to the jury, that plea to the court, do you think it makes a difference? It absolutely makes a difference. And I got to tell you, I agree with Jane here that the fact that she spoke in Italian, fluent, great Italian, really appeals to the judge. Now, of course, she had to learn Italian. She was in a remote you know, village where she went to jail. But the good news is the judge could completely understand her, and I hope that she really does appeal to their emotion and understand what's going to go on here. All right, again, that verdict minutes away. Keep it right here.